Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial on MYVS Essentials. Today we're going to have a look at invoicing. So up the top right hand corner, we're going to start off by adjusting our settings. So in the top right, you have your drop down menu. We go to invoice and quote settings. In this area, you can go through layouts, themes, what payment options you want to appear and some default text. So firstly, I'd recommend choosing items and services as your layout type, though you can specify services only if you'd like. Items and services gives you more flexibility here as you can choose either or, and it won't impact the invoice in a negative way having both. Secondly, under styling and themes, you've got some different options here. So you can show your logo on different sides. You can add different, um, features and names for example like the trading name email depending on how much text you want on there um, and you've also got some options with themes so um, i like impressions personally but you've got um, different coloring so you can match your logo and your brand uh, you can also then preview that so it gives you different options um, and how it looks so the next thing you want to have a look at is payment options. So you can set your default terms. These can be adjusted on the invoice itself. So don't have to worry about that if it um, changes from customer to customer. You can set up online payment through PayDirect Online, which um, is very easy to do. And you can set up the bank account that it'll go to. And then very importantly, you can go down, I can select it to direct deposit, enter in your bank details so they appear in your invoices as well. So very simple and easy to use. Under default email text, it will show you what it automatically lists and there's variables on the right hand side that you can play with. You've also got default quote email, so for any quotes you send out. So that's the settings. Next thing you need to know about is adding customers. So you can do this as you go, or alternatively, if you've already got a list, you can go into your contacts up the top here and create a few. So we're gonna create a dummy customer, we'll call them test client, and we'll save that. Now, what you can do there, what I might also add in, is an email address. So basically, you can track when they open the invoice, when they view it, when they print it, and when they pay. Very handy. So that's the customer sorted. The next thing you want to have a look at is your items. So under the sales menu, click on items. Essentials doesn't have inventory yet. However, it does have add-ons for it and you can track non-inventory items. So very handy, even if you're a service-based business because you can automate some things, make it a lot quicker. So let's pretend um, you have a mixture of both. So we'll have item number one, two, three, we'll call it service charge. And we sell it for $100. Allocate that to our sales one account. Let's go GST. And we'll save and add another. Second one, what we might do is sell something. So let's say we sell electrical supplies um, for $1,000. We'll allocate this one to sales two and save that. So now I've got some items, we're ready to go in and enter an invoice. So under the sales tab, click on invoices and you can create it from here. The other option is sales and create invoice. Now select your customer. So choose our test client here. You can put in an invoice number. This will automatically um, numerically increase each time so it has an order for you um, I recommend keeping an order for auditing purposes 
select your date of issue and the terms, which can be altered here as well. So we're going to give them 30 days and we're going to sell them some electrical supplies. And you'll see how quick that is. It automatically calculates everything for me because I have already put that in there. Um, so you can edit everything here. You can change the allocation account. You can add something to the descriptions. Um, you might want to increase that because we've added something. Um, then that's all good to go. Now you can rearrange these columns by dragging them up and down. You can change the item by dropping this down. You can delete the line. Lots of different things you can do here. You can also toggle on inclusive or exclusive. What we're going to do as well, just a demonstration of something different. Say we love this customer. We can add a discount for the service. Allocate this to our discounts given expense account. And we'll give them, let's say, a $500 discount. So that brings us down to $1,000 and allocates the correct accounts. And we're ready to issue this invoice. So you can either save it down the bottom here or email it. You can also print it as well if you would like a copy of it that way. In the notes to customers, a lot of people like to write things like, thank you, or anything like that. So thank you for your patronage, for example. And I can click remember this so that next time I create an invoice, it will remember. So if I then go in and email this to the client, in this case myself, you can get a copy sent to yourself as well. The client will straight away get a nice online email with the invoice, which automatically updates anytime you come back into the invoices here and amend them, which is awesome. So to view the invoices you've issued, you can come up to the sales column here and click on invoices and you'll have them here. You can see on the right hand side, it displays the status of whether something is sent, um, the status of whether it's been paid and the total amount owing. Very handy. You've also got different options here to view different statuses. Now, once the invoice is paid, you can come in here and view the invoice and we can apply payment. So let's say they paid us in cash. So enter payment. It's from our test client. We're going to put it into our main check account. We'll say cash payment. We received the whole amount of $1,000. And we enter that in the payment amount. When you save that, oops, it's not liking that. When you save that invoice, what will happen is it'll automatically update the system. Um, because this is a demo file that I'm in, it's in trial status, it's just being a bit silly for me. However, that would automatically update this to paid. The other way that you can do paid is under the bank feeds. So very handy under your bank transactions. If you had, let's say the deposit of 546 here come in, it will automatically notice, hey, there's an invoice for this amount. Let's match it. So it would show like this, one match available. Simply click on that. Choose the invoice that you issued them. Allocate it and you're done. That will automatically pay the invoice and close it. So that's how you enter an invoice, adjust the settings, and set up customers and items. Um, another important thing to note is some simple reports. So what you can do there is under reports, you can view a few things with your sales. So examples like unpaid invoices, sales reconciliation, customer invoices, taking payments, uh, payment time by customer, and items as well. If you just wanted a list of things that you can print out and see for your record, um, very handy. The most common one to look at is unpaid invoices, as this will show you any invoices that are yet to be paid. And there you go. That's invoicing in MYB Essentials.